Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over one of our sold units. Um, I know we've been going over a bunch of sold units. You guys are probably wondering why, but trailers are really hard to get right now. The reason we started doing this is because if I go over this sold unit and we got one coming in that's close to it, I can show you guys that video if you call and want to know, hey, what's that trailer coming in going to look like? That way you guys get an idea. That way you guys, if you maybe want to put money on something we got coming in in a few weeks, few months, you're not going into it completely blind. You know at least kind of what you're getting putting money on because that's kind of what we're going to right now. People are calling and buying these trailers months in advance, so it kind of just helps you guys. So this is a sold unit. Um, this 2022 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. Um, customer called about three weeks before this trailer started or finished at Cimarron. Wanted to add a couple things, so I'll go over what that customer wanted to add. We'll go over some features on this trailer and just keep in mind the whole time we're going through this video is that we have a bunch of these trailers finishing at Cimarron, getting ready to go to Cimarron. So just call us, tell us what you're looking for. There's a pretty good chance we're going to have something close to it on order or something maybe perfect that'll fit you. But if not, we can always make tweaks and changes either at Cimarron or here to make a trailer that fits your guys' needs. So again, we'll just start walking around this trailer. Up under the nose, pretty standard manual. Uh, manual jack here for Cimarron. It is a Bulldog jack. Um, over here next to that is your spare tire. The thing I want to point out is that on this spare tire, we opted for the black aluminum wheels on this trailer. I think it's a really flashy option for these trailers. Um, I also think it's cool if they don't put just a donut on your spare and that your spare is not a donut. You can pretty much blow a tire, get a flat, anything, anything can happen to a tire on this trailer and you can take this off, put it on, and it'll match the rest of the tires, the rest of the wheels, which is super cool, especially if you're traveling long distances, don't have access to tires, stuff like that. This, just ignore that. That's to power up this trailer, show you guys some lights and stuff like that. Um, up here on your coupler, you do have your safety chains as well as your breakaway cable. Um, this cool BMW hitch, it's actually a hitch that kind of Cimarron and BMW worked on together. Um, it's got this cool latch system. The reason I like it is because mode slash latch systems you see nowadays, they weld way up here to the high point of this pin, which means you can only drop your tongue about another three inches to get your trailer ride and level. But for any reason, if you need to on this trailer, you'll notice that when it's latched, you have all that clearance right there. So you can probably get another three inches of clearance out of this coupler than you would a normal coupler, which I think is super cool. And it's really easy to hook up. All you gotta do is hit it, the latch is into place. So it's really easy to operate from the outside of your tr truck as well. Moving around to the tail side of this trailer. Again, a couple upgrades on this trailer right off the bat. Um, you can notice that this door is an extra wide door. It's not your standard, you know, 36 inch Cimarron door. This is a 42 inch door. It's extra wide and the reason we do that is because it's got this really nice swing out saddle rack on there. Um, so we make that door a little extra wide so if you did need to sneak by your saddles and get in there while it's swung out or get in there and get something, pull something out, you do have the ability to fully walk in and walk out this trailer with saddles, tack, whatever you have while this is swung out. Um, this is a three tier. You can always order more for these. Um, if you wanted to put four or five or six on here, you can always have four or five or six saddles. They're fully adjustable, fully removable. You can buy blanket bars that slide in here as well if those four on the door aren't enough for you as well. This operates on a gas piston, so you kind of start pushing it and it'll pull itself and hold itself back against that wall while you're traveling. Same thing when you pull it out. You just kind of start pulling it and that piston helps kick it out a little bit. This is a four tier swing out blanket bar on this wall. Um, these are stationary. You can't really adjust, move these. I mean, unless you're pretty handy with a welder, you can go to cutting them off, but I wouldn't suggest that. Um, it's really slick. I like them because, again, it runs off that same gas piston that pretty much everything on this trailer will run off that moves. Um, I like it because that gas piston is going to hold your blankets up against this wall versus them just being able to rock back and forth. I know a lot of times you'll be traveling, you hit big bumps, divots in the road and stuff like that, and you get where you're going and your blankets are laying on the floor, your saddles are laying on the floor. So this really helps pinch those blankets over strong against that wall so nothing's laying on the ground when you guys get there. Below that we do just have a Cimarron brush box. Again, super handy to have as much storage as you can on a trailer. Um, you can put brushes in here, combs, anything like that. Got some touch up paint in here in case you get some dents and dings while you're traveling. But the thing I like is that there's holes. You'll notice that there's kind of three separate cabins in here. Um, that way if you get something that leaks in one, it's not running all over all your stuff. It kind of keeps it in one of these three compartments and there's also drain holes in there so it's not staying in there too long. If you get a bottle that blows up and freezes over the winter, it's going to stay in that and it's going to drain right out. That way all your stuff's not getting nasty, just maybe one or two brushes in a bottle. Um, we did an upgrade on this trailer. We do have this folding step. We kind of started putting these on all our inventory units. It used to be kind of an option. But for the ones we're ordering for inventory, from pretty much here on out, we'll have the step. It's just so much nicer to be able to have that extra eight inch step up in there versus if you're carrying heavy saddles, totes, and stuff like that. 
being able to jump up this extra eight inches is kind of hard. So putting that step on there, it's a really nice, really easy, really convenient feature. I mean, it runs off that same gas piston, so it's going to hold itself up against this trailer without having to latch it. Again, it makes stuff really convenient for you guys. Up here, this is a front tack slash dressing room. Um, you notice it is fully carpeted up here in this nose, as well as this drop wall. Um, the reason we do that is because we figure a lot of people are probably going to throw mashes up here at some point, even if you never plan on doing it, whether it's you or the person who buys it after you. Again, just giving people options, whether it be the first customer or that resale value down the road. You do have the option to fully throw a mattress up here. Um, it is framed for a mattress. We can kind of go over that here in a little bit. Um, over here on your left wall, we do have a shelf with the clothes rod. The thing I like about this shelf is it is lipped up here. It's not just a flat shelf, so nothing's going to roll off and slide off while you're traveling. Again, Cimarron's really good about focusing on those small details in these trailers. Um, that may seem, not seem like a lot, but again, if you got something up there and you get to where you're going and it falls, you know, that six foot to the floor, it could break, or you got something you don't want rolling around. I mean, it's just a two inch lip. It may seem little, but I think it's a really big in the grand scheme of things that Cimarron focuses on the small things like that. Over here, we do have a fully carpeted partition wall in this trailer. Again, really nice. The reason I like it is because whatever you have hanging here, um, it's not going to rub on this partition wall. If you got some totes, you're hauling some grain, feeding stuff in, they tend to move a little bit um, if you don't have them strapped down. And again, if there's something sliding back and forth from this wall, it's not going to ding this wall up at all. This is a marine grade carpet, so if you do get dirty in here and want to clean it out, you can just power wash this trailer right out. This carpet will pretty much hold the water on top of it. You can wipe it clean. It's not going to soak in. It's not going to hurt this trailer at all. It's the same carpet they would use like on the deck of a boat. Um, over here in this corner, again, it's 25 gallon water tank. We kind of started throwing these on some of our trailers coming in. It's always an easy option you guys can add from the factory or we can get the exact same water tanks and set them up here if you guys are picking a trailer up that's already done. It's a super cool tank. You can fill it comes with the hose down here at the bottom so you can fill buckets from inside or you can run a hose right out this door and water horses that are tied right outside which I think is super nice. Here's that big gas piston kind of operating on this uh, swing out saddle rack for you guys to see. Again they're all the same gas pistons. Some of them are just a little smaller, some are a little bigger and it'll just hold those right over on that wall which is super nice. Up here above your entry door, this does have upgraded OptiBright lights in this trailer. Um, you'll notice they're a little bit different than our old school OptiBrights. This year we changed up so our upgraded lighting package is going to be these lights and not those flat-headed OptiBrights that we normally see. These are a more focused beam. They're going to give you guys a lot more light focused where you guys need it instead of it just kind of spanning the whole trailer. That way the light's focused here when you're getting buckets out, grain out and stuff, and it's not dissipating throughout the whole inside of this trailer. You have a switch. You can just toggle it really easy when you come in right through the door. It's right here on your right-hand side. And then the cool thing I like about this trailer as well is that kind of talking about maybe throwing a mattress up there someday. It does have this boot box, this 50-50 split for some extra storage. You know, throwing chairs, buckets, you can never have enough chairs, blankets, um, pillows. If you do end up throwing a uh, mattress in here, it's just perfect storage. Keep stuff out of the way, um, rolling around, knocking around. But I talked a little bit about throwing that mattress up here um, and maybe putting an AC up here. This roof right here is pre-framed for an AC. Um, we started order ordering all our Cimarron inventory units with this pre-frame. The reason we do that is it's super easy for them to throw that framing in there at the factory. Super cost effective for us and you guys. Versus if you guys come here and it's not pre-framed for that, it's going to cost you guys quite a bit of money to get that roof frame to fit that after the fact. So we do it on all our trailers. That way if you get here and say, man, this trailer is perfect, but I want to put a mattress in here and an AC, we can do that really easy in a day or two through our shop for you guys and get you guys rolling quickly cost-effective and stuff like that. Coming down the tail side again, pretty standard Cimarron tail side. We just have your big sliding type bus windows that we see on all our Cimarron trailers. Above those bus windows is our 16 inch awning light. Again, just getting you that light right outside the door where you're going to be saddling. So you can have that saddle rack swinged out. You can have your blanket bars swung out. You can water your horse right here and be saddling all from right outside this door to have enough light to do it in early mornings, late nights. Um, if you get to a show later, early, or something like that. Down low again, those are those really flashy black aluminum wheels that we opted for on this trailer. Um, again, this trailer is riding on two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Um, I really like these black aluminum wheels. They got those little chrome accents. They're really slick looking wheels, and they really make these windows pop. They make this trailer pop. I think they're really cool. Not necessarily an upgrade, but if you're looking for something a little different than just your standard silver Cimarron wheels, these are a super cool options Cimarron does on their trailers.
Moving around to kind of the load side of this trailer, again, it's pretty standard Cimarron stuff. This is a 60-40 entry on a Cimarron rear door. Um, a lot of times you'll see a 60-40 with a folding rear tack right here. Um, we opted out of this trailer. The customer didn't want to add it, so we left it. The cool thing I like about it is you can shut this 40 side if you need to and just load from that 60 side. But if you got a horse that maybe likes a bigger open space to jump in trailers, horses can be kind of picky sometimes. You can always open both these doors up and jump them in there. Um, the reason I like it um, is because Sometimes on trailers you'll see a 60-40 setup like this and it is only set up to load out of one door with the folding rear tack. By doing this long safety strap back here versus short butt bar or short safety strap, it gives you the option to either pin all the way across, unpin, kind of do whatever you guys need to do. And it just folds out of the way really nice. That way you're not hurting horses, hurting yourself, stuff like that. Of course, as always, the floor that's on this trailer is probably the strongest floor you can buy on the market today. Um, it is a fully aluminum floor. It is built on four inch centers. Um, those are the closest centers out of any competitor we have. Um, just to kind of think about it, if you think about four inches, no matter where your horse is standing on this floor, his foot is going to be over the support beam no matter what. It's never going to be in between the support beam. That way your horse is standing on the strongest floor. You're never going to have to worry about, you know, a weak spot in the floor or something like that. Um, super strong floor, super great product Cimarron puts out. So up here in your loan zone, you'll notice there is a couple extras. These are the extras that they opted to add once we had it at the factory. So the customer called. We let them know, hey, this trailer is about three weeks out. And she said, well, can you still add this stuff? We said, great. Um, we got that added for her. And she's getting the trailer that she wanted. Um, and you know, we're getting these trailers moved out of here quick. So it really helps us. If you guys call, tell us what you're looking for. We can keep an eye out or tell you how we can get you into something that fits you guys perfectly in this crazy market we have today. So one thing she opted to add was these padded dividers. It's super simple. Um, she caught it while we still got it done at Cimarron. It's a lot cheaper for us to get stuff done at Cimarron than it is at our shop. So it's really cool that Cimarron was able to jump on here and say, yeah, this trailer's leaving tomorrow, but we'll still get a couple things done for you. They added these padded dividers. And another thing they added are these stall fans up here. Um, we don't talk a lot about stall fans. We don't see a lot of trailers come in with them. People that typically have stall fans swear by them and put them in every single trailer they own. They're really simple to use. I got a switch on the outside. Um, right now I got them all shut off just so I can show you guys kind of how they work. Um, each fan will kind of have a little switch on it to turn each fan on and off. Um, so you'll kind of have a forward motion fan, a backward fan, and then your center position is the off. Cool thing I like about them, you can turn them all on right now. And there is a master switch on the outside that'll just turn them all off and on if that's something you wanted to do besides walking in here and turning them on individually. But these fans are a super cool option you can put in your trailer. Um, Again, if you're stopping, you're making a lot of stops on your trip and you don't want to unload and don't want to have to worry about that airflow, with this Cimarron insulated roof and those fans rolling, you can stop for long periods of time in traffic. If you're stuck in construction or something like that, that fan, those fans are going to help that airflow move in here while you're not driving. Again, up here in your first stall, you will have this big stud divider. It's pretty much standard on every single Cimarron we order um, just because again it's so useful to be able to use that front stall as a storage space and of course use it if you got a horse that likes to kick or something like that they're not kicking at other horses they're not stirring up trouble back here and you know maybe getting a horse injured while you're traveling of course if you didn't want a stud divider in a trailer you're ordering or something like that you can order airflow dividers half dividers just a divider like this if that's something you want to do Cimarron has a bunch of options for divider types you can even do a full wall if that's something you guys want to do but this is pretty standard for how we order our trailers that we have coming in Up here in your first stall, um, you'll notice we do have an escape door right here. Um, kind of speaking about storing stuff up here with that escape door, it's really nice. This big stud stall to be able to close this. You can keep grain up here. You know, you can fit a bunch of bales of hay right here since you don't have a hay rack on this trailer. This makes for a really great storage space to keep your trailer clean. Keeps the bed of your truck clean. I know hauling hay in the bed of the truck's a pain while you're traveling to rodeos or shows. If you get where you're going, you feed it all, and it ends up behind the toolbox. It ends up everywhere. It gets moldy. It gets smelly. It gets pretty nasty. So this is a great way to keep what you need stored. You get where you're going. If it gets nasty, you can just power wash this whole trailer out really easy. Cool thing about it is every single stall, you'll notice this trailer is only 6'10 wide, so it doesn't have mangers. But what we do have is we do have D-rings, three positions in every single stall. What that's for is they make some pretty slick little corner hay bags or even square hay bags if that's something you guys wanted. They're really deep, they're really awesome. Um, they're not like your old school hay bags. They're pretty much really sturdy canvas um, instead of like a plastic net or something like that hanging. So your horse can't hang a leg in it. It's gonna keep everything in that hay bag really easy to clean and it's not gonna cheapen up this trailer at all. They sharpen the bags up to look really, really nice in these Cimarron trailers. 
Another cool thing Cimarron does are these escape door bars. Typically you won't see trailers have bars at all. If you do, they're not gonna be as easy to operate as this one. Um, typically you're gonna want a bar here just in case you have a horse that likes to lean. They're not leaning directly on that outside latch or that door. Um, this is just an extra safe feature so they're leaning against this bar not putting pressure on that door while you're traveling. But if you do want to drop this bar, say you do have hay stored here, grain stored here, or you don't have a horse here at all and you just want to drop this while you're traveling, it pretty much is just a ball that goes in a hole and you smack her out of there and it drops super easy like that. You don't have to worry about undoing little pins or anything like that. Sometimes trailers have little pins that drop in. They get worn just a little bit and then they rattle while you're traveling. They're loud for your horses. They break down a little bit. But this is a super easy, super convenient feature that Cimarron does and it easily mounts just right back in that hole on a ball. Super cool feature Cimarron does. Of course, we can't leave without talking about the roof a little bit. Um, this is a fully insulated roof. The whole top of this trailer is one big piece of insulation. It's not broken up into little parts. So again, kind of avoiding that option to leak a little bit. Um, this is a full sheet of insulated roof. It's kind of a polycarbonate plastic. Um, it's going to keep it about 20% warmer back here in the winter for your horses and about 20% cooler in the summer. On top of that, there is a slight bow to this roof, just keeping that water rolling off this roof for sitting up there and eating at your seals. Again, I think it's super cool. Um, had, I was just talking to a customer about it the other day, that when this roof is one big sheet like that and you don't have, you know, four foot sheets, um, you really, really uh, miss the opportunity for a lot of leaks because every four foot sheet, they're going to have to seal that. That's just one more seal that could go bad, one more seal that they can miss sealing, you know, just a centimeter of that seal and you end up with a leak. By doing one big sheet, it's just sealed on the sides where that water's going to be running off. It's a really, really efficient and a really, really awesome product that Cimarron uses on their roofs. And then again, I always talk about the latch system Cimarron uses. I think it is by far one of the best latch systems on the market today. Um, it is a metal on plastic latch system, and you'll see just how quiet it's shut right there. It's super quiet for your horses. Um, the thing I like about it is that the housing for it is plastic, not metal. Um, by doing a plastic housing versus a metal, you're saving a lot of sound while you guys are traveling. I mean, I'm jerking on it, and it's not making any noise. It's quiet for your horses, so it keeps your horses calm, but also it's not wearing out. If you have metal on metal, it's going to grind and chip away at each other until eventually this is going to be loose where it's going to make a lot of noise. It could eventually come unlatch or something like that. The plastic on metal wears a lot better, um, so by doing that, it keeps it quiet for your horses, but also this latch is going to last way longer than a metal on metal latch would, and it's just as strong as a metal on metal latch. Again, up top, you do have your brake lights. We do have a little six inch awning load light. Again, just giving you guys enough light that if you did want to load somewhere early morning, late night, you're going to have plenty of light to do so to keep you and your horses safe. Coming around the head side of this trailer, again, pretty typical Cimarron stuff. We do have your big Cimarron drop down windows. Um, Again, I think they're some of the best products on the market today that Cimarron puts out. They're big, heavy-duty hinges on these windows. I like them because the windows are super strong. I can move the whole trailer with this window and it's not going to go anywhere. You can't do that on a whole lot of other trailers. Um, they use big, heavy-duty hinges. The reason I like them is if you run in here with your camera real quick, you can see these hinges are greasable. Um, every hinge on this trailer is greasable. Every door is greasable. The reason I like it is because a lot of time you'll get sticky hinges or you'll see trailers that start squeaking really loud when you open up windows. It's super easy to pop a grease gun on any door on this trailer, loosen those up to where they're operating super smooth for you guys, super quiet for you guys. And that way you're not taking windows apart to grease them, you're greasing them from the outside. Again, it's just one of those small things Cimarron does that's maybe little in the grand scheme of things, but it makes a huge difference while you guys are traveling. Talked a little bit about those hay bags on the inside. Again, this trailer doesn't have mangers, but I kind of like it a little better that way just because it is 610 wide. It gives you guys this running board to step onto. The reason I like that running board is because how I load my horses when I go somewhere is I'll throw the halter over their back, I'll jump them in there, I'll shut the divider behind them. That way I'm not in between them and a wall or something like that to get hurt. I'll shut the door, I'll walk around, and then I'll tie them from the head side. And Cimarron makes that super easy to do because you can jump up on this running board. You can grab that halter that's thrown over their neck, tie them up. That way their head's tied up and out of the way. And if you are using a hay bag, you can easily drop these windows and feed them from the outside as well. Again, just make it a little easier on you guys. You're not crawling in and out of your trailer, maybe underneath and around your horses that are loaded up and a little antsy because they know they're going to a rodeo or show. And again, above that, we do have a 16-inch awning light or a 
tie out light, whatever you want to call it. Again, giving you guys plenty of light on either side of this trailer. That way if you're somewhere and it's shady on one side and you want to tie out on one side, or you got horses that fight, you can tie two to the other side, one to this side, keep them out of the way, have enough light to do whatever you guys need to do. I also like it that it's kind of positioned up here towards the front. Because again, if you're using this for a tack room, storage room area, it's going to give you enough light to be able to see in there, get what you need out of there, not trip over this running board while you're coming around to your truck. You'll just have plenty of light around this trailer to do whatever you need to do. Another thing I want to point out that Cimarron does that I think is super cool is they do have a little mini drop in this front door. Um, I really like that. A lot of times you'll see just this little bus window or a really tiny kind of half drop window. Um, by doing a little mini drop window, I mean I say mini, but this is probably standard size for most other horse trailers. Um, they do do a nice little drop window on this escape door, which you don't see a lot. So that front horse, if you are riding one in that front stall, especially if you have that big divider shut, they're not going to be getting as much airflow if you did have a little bus window. By doing this big drop down Cimarron does in this uh, escape door right here, that front horse is going to get plenty of air, and you are again going to get that option to tie them in here, feed them in here, whatever you need to do from the outside of the trailer, which I think is super helpful. And it, again, it just kind of helps keep you guys safe. Super cool setup Cimarron does on these trailer windows. But yeah, again, this is a sold unit. I know you guys are probably getting frustrated that everything we film is sold. We're frustrated too for you guys. We want to find you guys trailers. We want to get you guys in trailers you want to get in. Um, this customer got lucky and had one coming in that was 95% of what she wanted, and she added on the 5% that it didn't already have. So, I mean, there's trailers out there for you guys. We can make them try and fit what you guys are looking for. Just give us a call and we'll try and work it out for you guys. If you're interested in this trailer, some of the features you saw in this trailer, go ahead and reference this stock number. It's 5N201491. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. Um, it just finished in the shop yesterday. This trailer is actually headed to Virginia. So that's one thing I don't hardly talk about ever is we can ship these trailers anywhere in the United States. I got this one going to Virginia this week. I got one going to North Carolina next week. We can ship these trailers anywhere nationwide to you guys. So if you ever see a trailer you guys are wanting but thinking we're maybe too far, we can always work something out to get a trailer delivered to you guys, meet in the middle, whatever works best for you. We really like to make things easy here. But again, if you're interested in this trailer, some we have coming in or maybe some we have sitting here, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner. We're at TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Our phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.